Yo guys, what's up? It's today's video. I'm gonna be showing you um how to basically start off with um uh, new Minecraft world. Okay. Um. So uh, make sure to like and subscribe for um more gaming content. I am a pretty small channel, but you know I don't know. I don't always have to be. No, I'm just waiting for things to load. No, I'm just not. Uh, only waiting. And waiting. And waiting. And waiting. And waiting. Um, yeah. Maybe I'll record a hundred days, but uh, yeah. I mean, you knew it was bound to happen. I mean, I have a PC. I mean. I mean, it, it was about to happen. I mean, I had Pocket Edition. Now I have a PC. You know, it's bound to happen. And Jesus Christ! I know it. Okay. So yeah, we're here. Oh, it's kind of laggy. Is no, it's probably the sun. What is going? What is going? Okay. Okay. So I'm I'm spawned in. The first thing you want to do is you want to mine a tree. Uh, just hold left click. The block will slowly crack. Now you have wood. You want you want to press E to open up your inventory. You want to left click your wood. You want to bring it over here. You want to click once. Now you have planks. To make a crafting table, all you have to do is hold right click and basically just like yeah you know, kind of like uh, just hold right click and then just kind of like do that pattern left click over the crafting table uh put it anywhere in your hotbar that's this row down here so yeah there's four rows three of them are are here in here like our, our inventory but then if you have this bottom row which is um our hotbar if you look down here you notice the crafting tables here I picked it up now it's gone so yeah uh, you want to scroll over uh, you can either use that with your mouse wheel or your the corresponding uh, slot number with the number bar at the top of your keyboard uh, you want to right click and it'll place it and then right click again to open the UI I don't have anything in my inventory but that's about to change so I'm gonna go ahead and mine the rest of this tree. Remember, never leave a tree floating. Only noobs do that, and you are not a noob. I hope not. All right, now you have five wood. I'm gonna drag them back into the grid over here, and so it's gonna give you wood in intervals of four so you want to click until you have all of your wood there are now they are now planks um you want to put two into the crafting grid that will give you four sticks Cop memorize this pattern this pattern is for a wooden pickaxe and you swap the uh so i have now a wooden pickaxe what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dig. I'm gonna dig down until I find stone. There is some stone. You want about 13 stone. So, uh, yeah, just. Pieces. 
So now I have 13 stun. I, I have uh, advanced ult have shown, but you don't really need it. It's just kind of helpful to see how much durability is left. As you can see, the wooden dugout can only break nine blo 59 blocks. Uh, yeah. So you want to come back up here. You want to right click on your crafting table. You want to repeat the pattern you did for the wood pickaxe, only instead of wood, you want, you'll replace it with cobblestone. That'll give you a cobblestone a stone pickaxe. I recommend making another set of sticks. To make a sword, all I have to do is place one down there and two there, and I have a sword. To make a furnace, the next thing you will need to make is basically just fill in all the spot slots except for the middle one. Now you have a furnace. And I should mention, you want to left click to basically put it into its slots. Uh, to make a chest, right. So you want to recreate the pattern you just did with the furnace. You basically want to do the same thing you did with the furnace, only with wood. Now you have a chest, and then you can either discard your, you have a lot of things to do with your pickaxe, you can either toss it away right now, you can use it for fuel in the furnace, though I don't recommend it because it's not going to really be that much fuel, or you could like basically keep it until, you ha until you're load lo lo loaded enough that you can make a museum and keep this wood pickaxe here. I myself I am in the survival world. Uh there we go. Um yeah so pretty much um yeah, you can keep it. I recommend keeping it, you know, because especially if you like have a hardcore world or something and you like get absolutely looted and you and you uh it's where you wanna keep like uh the loot and basically kinda keep like um tokens of I start. I recommend with you doing it with your wood pickaxe. Uh, anyway, I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. This is 1.1.20 Java, and as you can see, my city is actually 69. Nice. So uh, yeah, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.